have you ever done anything that was genuinely dangerous? What happened? What were the consequences? Okay. <laughs> and how did you feel about it? Was it a positive or a negative experience? I, I, I did do something that was de genuinely dangerous once. Um, I look back at it and I think, yeah, I could have died, but the experience was incredible. Uh, my husband and I, just before we got married, went to Hawaii. And we rented a car and we went out into this area where the volcano had taken out a whole neighborhood. So we hiked out there at night. <laughs> There's no lights, it's just black. To the edge of this cliff and watched, it was incredible, watched the lava just coming out. Uh, but we're standing on a cliff that's made of lava. And lava's very unstable, and there's no warning. It breaks off, it falls into the ocean. Um, we were, it felt like we were close. Where you could see the smoke, the sulfur was coming towards us, but the ocean kind of, the waves kind of pushed everything up, so it didn't really hit us. Um, we, I heard, I kept hearing popping noises. I was getting nervous. My husband was definitely nervous. That's probably the most dangerous thing I've ever done. But it was incredible, incredible experience. Well, I went, I went skydiving a few years ago. I actually did not think it was insane. I did not think that it was dangerous or anything. I went because I thought that it would be fun and exciting, and I almost died. I uh, went tandem, so that means that you have to actually strap yourself into your instructor, and you jump out of the plane and dive with them. And we were supposed to have a 35-second free fall, and, which basically means that you, you know, kind of enjoy the fall for 35 seconds before you have to release the chute. So when we jumped out of the plane, we started spinning uncontrollably for 28 seconds. After 28 seconds, he released the parachute and we jerked up into the air and we thought everything was fine. And then all of a sudden we started crashing to the ground again at a, at a rapid speed. So he had to use his reserve parachute. So he opened up the reserve parachute just in time for us to go crashing into a cornfield miles from where we were supposed to be. When I finally came to, I didn't pass out or anything, but I think I was just over stricken with shock. I realized that my instructor was gone and he was nowhere to be found. So I had to find my way out of the cornfield. It felt like it took hours. I don't actually know how long I was in there for. But when I finally found my way out, a Jeep came and, and found me, and it ended up being people from the skydiving school. I was on the subway. I was in the subway, and I had picked up my money from work. And so I had my money in a little envelope, and I was walking down on the tracks, and, da -da -da -da, and a gush of wind came, and it threw my, my envelope into the train tracks. So <laughs> against my complete better judgment, it was a horrible idea, but I jumped down on the tracks, got the envelope, and then had two men pull me up before the train got here. It's a bad mistake. Never, never do it again, but I got my $60, so I don't know. <laughs> and what I learned was to stuff my money deep in my bag as opposed to right outside of my bag so it could fall out. But uh, I'm safe. It worked out. <laughs>